Simon Hull, the new associate. Let me be clear about this, Hull. It's my way or the highway. I've always been a fan of the back roads. I don't know how I'm going to win this. We'll get through it all together. Achoo! I just need things simplified. What, like a recap on a TV show? No. What TV show would have a recap on the first episode? Give us the money. Give us the goddamn money. That man Pokemon cards. Real beauty. Got. What oh, shiny one? Need that one. Got. Got. Get them in the bag. We'll sort that later. We better not be followed. Okay, okay. Just please don't hurt me. Go, go, go! No, 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 shit! You got blood on my Nikes! man for the job. This isn't my case. So it isn't. Anyway, my nephew seems to have got himself into a spot of bother. Hmm. Drugs? Alcohol? Dealing out illegal information to teenagers? Blast your hide! He's been involved in a robbery! Whereabouts? Lord Gaga Drive. Witnesses talked about an accomplice. But he went running to his mum, said he acted alone, which is baloney! The police have got him under house arrest. Shouldn't they have him locked up? You bet your ass he should, but he's confessed to the case. Police are willing to have him stationed at home for now. Not enough room in the holding cells. This again! I need you to head there as soon as goddamn possible to stop this thing going to trial. Get him to sign a confession if you have to, then we can appeal to the courts. See if we can get him let off with a warning. Sweet child, sweet child. And what about the accomplice? The kid said that he acted alone. We suspect the prosecution are going to look into it. Suppress the kid if possible. I'll make sure it's done after lunch. It's meat and tacos today. When I say as soon as possible, I mean now. But don't we need the litigation? Get me a win, or this will be your first and last blasted case at this firm. My queen. My queen. My queen. I've told you before, Simon, it's pronounced my queen. Yeah, sorry. Friedman's unloaded another case on me, so I'll need you to handle the litigation while I'm gone. And um, what do I get in return? Is that a credit in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me?
My queen. My queen. The case. Oh, right. Pete Friedman? Uh, do I look like a Pete Friedman? Simon Hull. I'm an associate at Friedman, Williams, Williams, Treble Williams, Treble Cock, and of course, Hull. I'm an associate helping Pete with his case. Should you be telling me this? Probably not, but it does help the continuity. Uh, come in. Ow! Oh, sorry. Sorry. I don't want to hear it. I was sent here by your uncle. He said we'll need a strong defence when this thing goes to trial. <laughs> We're hoping that if you can tell us more about your associate, then we can stop this from happening. Tell my uncle he can shove it. I acted alone, and that's all I have to say about it. Several witnesses link a figure who matches your description and one other fleeing the scene. The best thing we can do is work out an appeal, then the judge might be willing to go easier on you. I need to know exactly what happened and where your accomplice is now. Coming forward? You're supposed to be on his side. Yippee! If we come forward then we'll have the advantage. Holding off for longer could drag things out and we can't promise things will be this easy for you again. But if things really are that things bad... are that bad. The car you were in was stolen. Not to mention the damage to the shop. Covering up your accomplice means you're preventing justice. Coming out in the open is the best policy. If we can sit down and- No, you listen to me. I acted alone and that is that. I don't want this thing being blown out of proportion any more than it has to be. I acted alone and that is that. Well, it's too late for that now. You're the one who needed to make so much noise. Whatever you stole, we can have it returned. It's not about what I stole. You. You just wouldn't understand. We must get everything out in the open early. No! We deal with this and then it's over. Fine, we'll tell everyone you acted alone, but... As your attorney, tell me about your accomplice. No, you know the story, that is that. That's not what these witnesses are saying. Pete, I need to know who this mystery man is. There is no accomplice, I told you. I worked alone. Are you going to do your job? Fine. I'll see what I can do. I need you to sign this confession form. Once you've signed it, I might be able to go in front of a judge and privately appeal, you know, bypass the whole courts. Thank you. I think I can fix this. Can you get me some time with the judge? Thanks. Got a minute? It depends on what you want from me. I was wondering if I could get your help with this. It's a housing court dispute. Freeman seems to have unloaded it on me. Mm. Tell you what, I'll swap you. Mm, don't know about that. Freeman seemed adamant that I was the one that had to do it. Oh, come on, live a little. No, I... Fine, what you got? Yeah. Litigation paperwork. Isn't this Simon's job? He passed it on to me. Seems you aren't the only one Freeman's been doing the rounds with. Fair enough. Lucky Simon. Any idea what he's up to instead? No clue, but I hear it's juicy. So the new kid gets all the good stuff whilst we were stuck with the lousy written work. That's all of it? There's about ten more boxes in conference room D. Best get on with it then. Yeah, try not to be too hard on the new kid. He may be new, but Friedman would have given him a job for a reason. Thank you for meeting with me on such short notice, judgment. And you are here to talk a settlement with me? Yes, Your Honour. Here I have a signed confession from my client claiming that 
he didn't have any help whatsoever with the robbery that took place on Lord Gargar Drive the other day. It's to my understanding that you may be able to weave the motions to trial and therefore maybe come up with a compromise? Mr. Friedman says that he will be willing to pay back any of the money stolen as well as the damages to the shop and the fines for the car. You may be new to this industry, but that's not how things work in the real world. I'm afraid that's not going to be possible, Councillor. You see, I have sworn testimony from the police officers involved in the incident, stating that they saw Mr. Friedman in the car with an accomplice. The testimony from the witnesses means that the prosecution has forced my hand. This moves to trial. But, but Your Honour, my client claims he had no help with the involvement of the, the, the trial thing. He can claim all he likes. I am less likely to believe the word of a kid against that of police officers and witnesses. This moves to trial. Oh, that one. But, Your Honour, if, if I can get the evidence, if I can, you know, find the things that we need to prove it. Then you will bring out the quick. Good day, Councillor. Any luck for getting the trial called off today? Somebody tell you. I heard it from one of the receptionists. Apparently it's a really high profile case. I'm not sure who it's about though. I don't think I can tell you at present. And no, no luck with the trial. The judge claimed that there is sufficient evidence to move this to court. Shame. It would have saved you quite the hassle. Yeah. How did you get on with the litigation? All done. We'll get it all sent off tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. Did you get it done by yourself? I had a little bit of help. Martin? Is there a Martin over here? Oh, yeah, me. Thank you. Martin? Have you told the client the bad news? He treats me like crap. I don't know what I'm going to do about it all, to be honest. Clients can be tough. Sometimes what they want isn't what we can provide them. You have to be gentle with them and just show them that you care about their needs whilst making the best judgement. He isn't going to like it, his face all over the place if he refuses to work with us. You're going to have to tell him that. Thank you, my queen. McQueen. Thank you, McQueen. You're... You're welcome. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't. It, it's not you, it's... <laughs> it's what? I've been trying to send you signals for days, Simon. What does a woman got to do? Hey Greg, I hear you helped cover for me with the litigation. Thank you. You're welcome. It's the least I can do to help. At least now I can get this housing court thing back from McQueen. I'd be surprised if anything, any of it was done, to be honest. Why? It's my queen. What do you expect? McQueen, but yeah, I guess you're right. Hugging kiss! What's this I've heard from housing that they haven't heard from you? Last I heard, you still work here! I don't know, I, I spoke to McQueen and she- Don't tell me you've pawned off another one of your cases on that blasted woman! She needed help with the litigation. What have I told you about giving cases to her? She's creating up utter madness! As it happens, housing called to say that they've settled. So I need you to help Junior here with my nephew. Simon, you'd better win today at the trial. I hear your talk with the judge didn't go so well. You three are really becoming a thorn in my ass! I'll get it done, sir. You'd better! McQueen! Oh, it's you two. I'm just working on the housing court thing now. Just been bashed by Friedman. Sorry, okay? 
This isn't about the housing court dispute, although I will need to speak to you about that. No, you don't. Right now, the focus needs to be on Pete Friedman. The boss's nephew? Yes, he's the one I'm focusing on for the robberies. Pete Friedman's the robber. I know, right? <laughs> right now, we need to find out as much information as possible. We might not know Pete's associates, but if we can find him, we can make things easier on him. We need to find out who he works with, his friends, etc. I was talking to, like, the judge, and, like, he was saying to me, like, what are you doing? And I said, like, I like your wig, judge. And he was like, stop liking my wig. We think we can get head of prosecution. Get Pete to talk about his accomplice in exchange for a lighter sentence. So try and avoid trial altogether. Exactly. But Pete doesn't want to snitch out his friends. So we make him. Well, as nice as we can. We are on his side, after all. I don't understand. We got word Pete's holding a secret party with a group of friends tonight. I think maybe he might be having one last hurrah. So we need someone on the inside to talk to him. Oh, so you want me to get him to talk? Exactly. Get him to sign this. It's a sworn confession detailing that he knows his accomplice and is willing to testify. Can't we leave this to the prosecution to find? The kid's are already under house arrest. We can't leave it a chance. If I do this, you two owe me one. If you do this, we'll call the whole housing court issue off and we'll call it even. Mm. Done. Hello, girl, myself. Sorry, what did you two come here for? We have a full confession here from our client, stating that he had an accomplice during the robbery. So, let me get this straight. You managed to get this kid to confess to having an accomplice solely on his own? Precisely. What changed his mind? Well, you see, Pete robbed the shop with his friend Michael. They were looking to pay back some money from drugs that they bought from Chris R. Michael was an escaped felon, Your Honour. We believe he coerced Mr. Friedman into robbing the place with him, and then we believe he planned to take the fall for him. Pete helped him solely out of fear, but then he ditched Michael because he ended up dying in a car crash during the escape from the shop. Pete then ditched Michael's body in a neighbouring alley purely out of terror for what would have happened if he was fa found with Michael. He confessed and apologises for leaving the courts on with the whole thing. Do you realise that this means your boy is still in a whole lot of trouble? We do, but we were hoping that with that signed confession and everything, we might be able to cut a deal. I'm sorry, Mr. Hall, but this confession only leads to more issues. Evading arrest and willingly discarding a dead body is really naughty. But, Your Honour... I'm sorry, boys, but this trial moves forward. I'll be seeing Mr Freeman in court. Thank you for providing this evidence. I am sure the prosecution feels relieved that you have done their job for them. Oh, fiddlesticks. You know, I really saw that going better for us. Wow, look at you, full of pep. I've no idea what to do, my queen. McQueen. I don't know what to do, McQueen. Prep for the trial. It's the best we can do. What about the kid? What about me? Friedman's never going to let me hear the end of this. Blast you, you blasted kid! I'm grateful that you're here to help me. You're welcome, Simon. We're all here to help. It's just so daunting being here, under the pressure all the time. You'll get there, don't worry. Uh. 
Listen, my queen. McQueen. Listen, McQueen. About the other day. There's no need to explain. I think you at least deserve an explanation. I just don't understand. What have I done? Are you married or something? It's not you, it's it's me. It's this girl. About five years ago, I dated the most beautiful girl in the world. We had our issues, sure, but we loved and trusted each other. Then one day she broke down. She started screaming about how her life wasn't being treated with enough worth. Before I could beg her to stay, she was gone, falling off a bridge into the icy waters below. Simon, I had no idea. Simon! What are you doing in here? No doubt avoiding the blasted work! I was just trying to... Save it, hole! I just got off the phone to my blasted nephew. Apparently, somebody went to the judge behind my back and cut a deal. Now, he's gone to another firm because he and his mum, apparently, can't trust us. You know, Greg and I thought that... I don't care what you thought. You make decisions like that through me. Now I'm facing legal action because someone got him drunk and got him to sign things. Sir, that was me, Greg and Simon. Save it! You are done, you hear me? Blasted done! We need to get our jobs back. I hear you have some information for me on Simon's past. No, I just brought you a coffee. Everything I've done, I've done it for you. It's Friedman. It's my father. How okay. do you feel getting um, your place in the race when you first got it? Don't you think you have to loosen that up a little bit? So, still no sign of Sphinx. 